Hello and welcome to the tenth part of my Let's Play of Plants vs Zombies. And today we're just gonna carry on with the adventure. Yeah, let's get right into this. Oh, okay. Still in the backyard. And um got this li lily pads, this squash, and this three peter. Love this thing. Uh that that um, got that and we got a squash, we don't need potato mines, so just take a pea shooter for now, I think. So now I, I think I'll just take a cherry bomb. I don't usually use them, but I might as well, just for this level. Okay, I use these three peters a lot in my builds because I don't like having to put um separate defenses on on these um. On the on the on the lake on no not on the lake the, the pool. So what I do instead is I uh, I quite simply put down myself uh, some walnuts here, and what I do is um, put the walnuts down here, and three peters can cover can cover this row as well as these ones. So that's just what I do, and it works out fine. So yeah. Trust me, trust me, I'm a, I'm a professional. I know exactly what I'm doing. And basically, the whole point of this is that we're trying to get um, uh, trying to get as much sun as possible, because uh, sun is um, very very important when you're using three pieces, because um, they're so so expensive. I mean, to be fair, they only cost um three. Uh, the equivalent of three pea shooters and 25 sun more, but it ends up just you have to pay so much to get that at once. It's quite overwhelming. Go on, just one more. There we go. Three peas. Yeah, you see that? See how it kind of splits off in three different peas and three different lanes. That's why I use it so much. This is just dead useful. Uh, I would need to get another pea shooter there pretty quickly. But we can use a squash in the meantime. Okay. Not sure, I'm not sure why I even bothered, why, why I even bothered with repeaters. The only thing I'd ever use here is snow peas and, um, etc. Might as well. I, I don't really ever use snow peas and, um, three peaters in this kind of build. It's just so much more effective. Okay, well right now this build is actually relatively solid. What we will need is um, another, another, another three peter and uh, some snow peas, but that is about it. We shouldn't need any more than that. Let's get snow pea there. Actually, that's a bit bobbing. Now we should be fine. So you don't eat very quickly too. Oh, okay. I was close, but we pulled it off pretty easily, actually. Let's get some lily pads down. The cooldown for lily pads is actually quite high, which surprised me a bit. I suppose it can be used as kind of little uh, roadblocks, so they want it, they'd want it to be quite low. Uh, I mean, quite high. But still, it, uh, it's a bit strange. Mm, Stubby. These snow peas just bulk up defences so much. It's been able to slow defences down. It's phenomenal. Okay, I went to get some walnuts and probably some more sunflowers actually. Uh, come on, hurry up. Sunflower. Because I went to get more three peters. I didn't have enough of them. Let's just build up a bit of sun, and then we're gonna then we're going to replace these two sunflowers with three peters. Because there's there's two big waves, so we should have enough time. Oh come on! Come on! There we go. Three peters, perfect. These three peters become less useful, but for now. I find that that is probably the best I have in terms of defences. So that's what I use. Ah, uh, come on. I want to get my third, third three P2. Mm. 
There we go. I'm gonna give you one, one bit of sun. One bit of sun, and you can die. Never mind. He dies anyway. Oh, gosh. There we go. We should be fine now. Mm. I'm actually gonna get some snow peas down too. Snow peas are so cool. Just did anyone hear about how cool snow peas were? I had a really cool. Let's get more some. Let's get some more awesome, lame snow pea jokes about how cool they are. Come on! I need some the walnut. I need another snow pea. I need everything. Everything needs to be alright. Sure, that's quite a good way to get rid of those, um, uh, what's it saying? Get rid of those uh, little, little divers. Hmm. What are we gonna do now? I suppose we can get some more three peters down the middle, though. That'd work. There we go. That's relatively solid. And let's just save up a bit. And let's just save up a bit and get a, a cherry bomb. No, you don't. That should blows. And we got the tangle kelp. Oh, very, very, very nice. I like, I like this tangled kelp. Aquatic plant that pulls a zombie underwater. That is very, very, very useful against those diver zombies, so you don't have to, you know, uh, do the regular old, um, and I plant a lily pad in front of them, just to kill them. So I don't need to repeat it. Snoopy, that, that. That's it. Okay. Let's carry on. Okay. Uh, good old sunflowers. You, you, you never get old of sunflowers. Come on. You, you know sunflowers the best. Also, squashes are re really good too. I, I just like using them as an alternative to the potato mines. I know that the potato mines are cheaper, but in the end, I mean, the, the squashes are just better. And also, uh, you end up having a lot more uses for them later in the game than the potato mine, so. Let's get that there. Oh, did I, did I not place that down? Hmm. Sad face. Okay. Another, another sunflower down. Ah, that was a lot of sun at once. Hmm. Uh, there's another thing I was I was meaning to test. I was meaning I was meaning to test whether or not um, the time uh, in which uh, sunflowers produce sun is random or not, uh, and that's for sun shrooms is too. For most things that produce sun, actually, quite interesting. Oh, there's a lot of sun. Mm, come on, I need to get a three P two. Give me a three P two. Come on. Get snow pea for now. There we go. We're gonna want to get two two lily pads there. Where we can put snow peas on, then two walnuts. And let's get one of these. Come on. Okay. I uh, don't have much to talk about, but um, this uh, this level is home to the um, the new concept of having three big waves instead of just two or even one. Uh, not that different. 
I mean, it, you know, it's just a seam old, seam old, just with uh, an extra, an extra wave of, uh, an extra wave of zombies. Really, isn't that tough? Really, uh, if, if you know what you're doing, if you've got some half decent defenses, it's nothing to worry about. But if you do worry about it, then um, tough luck, because I can't really help you with that. Okay, going to get another Snoopy. There we go. Now these snow pieces are just great. In, in like every situation, these can be used well. Let's get, let's get a tangle coat down. I haven't used them yet. But you see how they just take up one slot and you just put them in the water and they just take care of these rubber duckies or whatever. Go squash them. Get some flower there. It will, it will only be temporary. I mean, we're gonna have to get rid of it soon, but never mind. Mm -hmm. Get my own. Get me another tangle kelp. Get me a walnut. And a snow pea. That should be a fine defense. That should be a fine defense for now. No beat. And save it under wait for that walnut to come up. Oh, lost a coin. That's nice. I'd have liked to get that coin actually. Got a little coin or a loan. Lost. Oh, tangle, tangle kelp. And that javelin zombie is just. not. it just doesn't even have a chance. I mean, two, three peaches and a snow pea. Just not a chance. Uh, I'm actually really glad that I've done this playthrough of Plants vs Zombies. Cause it's made me appreciate some of the some different game, some different parts of the game. Uh, mostly snow peas. Um, I don't think I've ever used snow peas enough. Uh, I I think previously I tend to use I tended to use a lot more of the whole. Uh, what was I saying? Repeater shabam. I used, a lot, I used a lot more repeaters than uh, snow peas. But quite frankly, I mean these snow peas, the snow peas are so much better. And you can also you can just rely on three peaters to lay off the damage as opposed to the um opposed to the repeaters. So yeah, it's pretty much pointless. Even even bothering with even putting repeaters in the hotbar. And um, at this stage, it's quite a long level, so um, you don't have too much to do. But if you are looking for things to do, I do recommend trying to get a third line of three peaches. Because you might as well get more firepower. I mean, why not? Uh, what else? Oh, March, actually. Um, try to get walnuts where you can. Uh, they're always useful. And, um, okay. I think we're going about to hit our next set of three peaches, or halfway there at least. Also, uh, if you put uh, if you put uh, a three peter down there, you end up having uh, uh, having two peas going down there and a one pea going down there, just in case you're wondering. Okay. okay da, 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 da. There we go. And this defence is completely solid. Uh, there's uh, going to be absolutely nothing getting through this defence at all. Once you have this, it is, there's nothing. Okay. I'm trying to get a, a tangle kelp so we can ice that, uh, ice that bucket head. There we go. Oh, we've got a gold coin. Nice. Always need to get, get some free money. Come on, give it, give me more money. Squash him. Okay, uh, and we need to get another walnut here, and 
uh, as soon as we get that three piece of there, that's I can't really think of anything else to do, quite frankly. Unfortunately, we don't have too much uh, too much in the way of sun generation going on right now. That's the only downside to this defense. You don't get much sun. My bunny will when you get to this stage. Oh, come on. I'm just get squash. Come on. Get that pulled and bucket head. And these squashes are great because they can they can they that's gonna be able to crush both of these guys easily. There we go. Lock. And we get another gold coin. Nice. Come on, give me some give me some sun. Just a bit more sun. Okay, that is the that is our final final defense. Uh, might as well put in put in a, a lily pad there, so we can ice that guy and squash. We go there, and so that is the game over. I mean, get a car key, and you might be wondering, well, what the what on earth are you getting a car key for? But I will show you. Now we can visit Crazy Dave's shop. I have kind of hinted this a bit before. Hey, from a car key, you know what that means. Crazy Dave's Twiddly Winks is open for business. Have a look, see if you can't find something like. A uh, few things we could get here. Um, a nine slot for start. Also, you can get these pool cleaners as an extra of defense to the pool. I like I like them. However, my defense is is solid enough to not to not worry about this. I think I'll get, I think we'll get it in the fourth stage, but not now. Um, that is actually really good. I, I like that, and it's quite cheap, so I'll get that. And these uh, turn new, put these on with Peters and tell them to Gatling peas. They shoot four peas at a time. No, because I don't use. Um, I actually don't really use the the repeaters. But I would kind of like these, the twin sunflowers. Look, they're quite nice. So yeah. Think about the zombie process sometimes makes them come out real little, real little and real mean conditions. This is another one of the special waves where they have zombies, but they're just really, really small. Uh, yeah, and you see we have that rake there. It just acts like a potato mine or something, and that's gonna crush her um, cone head. Nice. And you see how how much damage that damage that thing does. And they get a lot of cherry bombs and several two, as you can see. I've already, I've already got three. So you do get a lot. Pea shooter, pea shooter there. Just blow that up. Can't want to get another, another pea shooter. Quick late. Good tell we have to use that. Oh, that starts. You are, you are kidding me. Peace you there we go. Hmm. Strange. It, this is definitely a weird level. It, it, it's one of the strange levels, that's for sure. Hmm. Okay. Let's get on some more walnuts. Four line of them now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, for, uh, there's not much to talk about now. It's a bit boring actually. Much is, not much to say, not much to do. Key shooter, perfect. Cherry bomb, hello. There we go. And the huge wave of zombies is coming. What a surprise. May as well. And as you can see, we don't get terribly advanced weapons. I mean, pea shooters are hardly uh, the best, the best of the range. But they're, they're good enough, so they will do. They'll do for now, at least. Explodinator. 
that is actually a reference to the Almanac. I can see what one of the quotes in the in the Almanac. It's actually a really funny quote. So I, I like it a lot. And I will show you the Almanac at a later date. Not quite yet. But even these football zombies just get taken out. <laughs> Not a problem. There we go. But they still eat, they eat like hell. They, they, they still really tear up your defenses. I, I really like this like this game mode. It offers just a completely new game dynamic. You should play in a completely different way too. I need to put that there. Another thing there. One up there, that up there, and that up there. There we go. Blow that. And that's about it for now. Okay. Oh, yeah, and we've got two of these, these um, cherry bombs. Oh, and don't tell me. Just, it's, it's just blue chin. There we go, and we get the jalapeno. Oh, uh, yeah, this thing. This thing is another one of my favourites. Jalapeno destroys an entire lane of zombies. Yeah, well, we're not actually going to do this level, but it's cool. I mean, you see, we get a zomboni. The Zomboni zombie. We also have the twin sunflower. It gives twice as much sun as, sun as a regular sunflower. Uh, I will hopefully try this out in the next episode. And I'll show you what it's, what, how you use it and what it's all about. So um, I've, I've been Thrasher and uh, I will see you guys in um, the what, what will be the 11th part of my Let's Play of Plants vs Zombies. So um, thanks for watching and bye bye.